What does that put me up to now? Like 90? Yeah, 85. Still a lot. And now Xion is going solo because Cosmos got left behind. But it doesn't matter. I don't need friends. I'm rich. I'm done. I am done. What the hell? Whoa. Camera shake and everything. And this one is actually guaranteed, this email, as you can guess because I didn't even ask if I wanted to read it or not. As I suspected, the intruder was hiding on the cargo spaceship that had dropped anchor at Lutz. So I have captured the hacker because I, well, I knew where it was. But yeah, if you, if you were doing this quest properly, this is when you get it. But it is guaranteed if you did it. The intruder is Snake Charmer. His real name is Lev Vandevarst. Interesting. Uh, right. He, thanks to me, I did a great job. I had a modest reward prepared for you. I get the code disarm key support plugin. It's capable of decoding even more complex codes. No value can be placed on it. It's useless, however, without Vectorcom's code disarm key plugin. Okay, yes. Lev called it Hydra. I mean, after the nine headed dragon in Greek mythology, I know who Hydra is, and then he's the snake charmer. Boom, you get it? Was it Perseus that fought? No, it was Hercules that fought Hydra, just like the movie, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and Bunny wants to talk about this. You did it! You finally got him! Damn right I did. The amazing snake charmer hacker Lev Vandervorst. I wonder why he doesn't try to put his great skills to better use. Who knows? Maybe that's his nature or that it is his understanding of the process in which he can succeed in life. What? That last sentence just threw me for a loop there. Perhaps this will come to light through future cross-examinations. Or maybe it won't. Anyway, the snake charmer case is completely closed now. There's no need for us to dwell on it anymore. You're right. I'd like to forget about all of this. Of course. Uh, but I do need to... If... Mm. If I could handle that properly. Let's go back and uh, download the attachment that was on that file. There we go. Download, save attachment. Now I should have that automatically put in here. So here's the key, the, the decipher coded messages, and it augments it next to, to vector. Vector com, vector NSS, I forget what NSS stands for, but we have gotten that, which is very nice. Uh, if you guessed uh, the wrong locations, if you guessed the satellite, you'll get 40,000 G. If you guess the asteroid, you'll get 60,000 G. But I, really, I, I want, you want to catch them. I mean, isn't that the whole thing? Now, uh, there's just one more place that we need to go, which is back to the resident area. We are, we are mostly done with what it is that we need to do. But we need to go and find one more email. And we also need to purchase things at the shop before, before we start taking a rest. And I assume you guys know where that's going to be. It's probably going to be the room with the robot in it that I pointed out earlier. Now I believe this email, there it is. Read it. You don't have to because this is another Namco ad. This time for Ace Combat 04. Uh, this, I, this I know is a real game. I, they don't tell you much about it. They don't even have a screenshot of it. They just have the really the logo. The, this, I mean, this is like a teaser. This is what you do when you're announcing that you're going to work on a project. Like if. I don't know what game. If they were gonna do like Zeno Gears 2, right? This is what they would release. Like, we're gonna work on Zeno Gears 2. <laughs> Zeno Gears 2. Namco. And that would be the end of it, right? So yeah, Ace Combat, 3D fight, 
flight shooting game. I've never, to be honest, I've never liked any spaceship shooter other than Star Fox. That's the only one. I have not liked any others. And that's... Not that I've played that many, but that's really it for me. I, I suck at shooters, especially the, flighty, the, the, the sh flying, all that kind of stuff. I suck. I suck at it. Okay, so we're going to bypass all of this. I'm going to go to the shop, which if you remember... God, if I could get into the door zone, it probably help. If you remember, it was over here. If I remember, it was over here. I'm pretty sure it's here. Damn it. <laughs> oh, God, of course I would forget. No, it's it's a room that looks very similar to that, but it must be up another level. Is it on the right, then? It could be on the right. So we are going to purchase some things at the shop. I'll let you know when we get that. But I have to guess the right spot first. It all looks the same. The rooms are all designed like it's a hotel or something. But this is supposed to be a battleship. This is the room. This is the room. It has the green carpet. The green carpet. Of course, that room. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase uh, one set of rider gloves because I'm rich. But I only need the one. One platinum rod. One. I'm going to assume that's a. Yeah, Rook uh, 505. And one of each. In terms of this, I'm going to buy four battle gears, one D unit V4, one Vol G30, and because I am rich, and really only because I'm rich, I'm gonna get two more space helmets. Why not? Just in case, just in case. And then I'll buy one uh, set of sniper. Well, because I'm, you, you, I mean, it's not even that great, these sniper goggles, but I'm trying to go for all the skills, so I'll get this, because you, you can get dexterity down. Well, preventing dexterity down by, by extracting a skill off of that. So that is all that I need to do. We are ready to move on. We're going to head to Xion's room, which I think I already pointed out to you was over there. So I, I'm kind of curious what you guys think about the in-game advertising. I, I kind of have ragged on it a bit because I personally do not find it effective at all. Uh, I This game does not make me want to go out and play Ace Combat 04, the 3D Pac-Man game. Maybe it made me want to play Tekken a little, but that's because I'm kind of always been interested in Tekken, but never never actually played it legitimately outside of like an arcade. This is it, isn't it? This is red. It is red. I'm really tired now. I think I'll call it a day. Yes, I, I am done. I, I am pretty sure... I'm done. Pushing ourselves too hard is bad for our health. We should turn in for the night. Of course we should. And surprise, surprise, we're going to get a cutscene. Going to bed. It changes everything. Everything changed when Xi'an went to bed. And there... Well, I'm just going to go ahead and spoil it. That is the Kukai Foundation. And I must be honest, I love this scene. As, as they over so it. that's the Kukai Foundation. Now with like twenty they sure seconds. sure know how to spend their money. Damn right they I do. I can't wait to see the Durandal turn into a skyscraper. It's so beautiful. What? We're going to dock just like this? This ship's supposedly one of the most famous landmarks in the Foundation. I saw it in a travel guide on the Elsa. Oh really? I'd never know. I don't check out vacation guides very often. Oh look! We're docking!
gorgeous. <laughs> There's really no point in them having worked so hard on that. But I, I do appreciate the effort. Wow. wow! That was awesome. In here... New Year's Eve is the best time to visit. The evening metropolis is quite a sight to behold with all her lights. We meet a new character! Gainan Kukai. Gainan! The managing director of the Kukai Foundation. Huh? Huh? Junior? Looks just like what him, doesn't that? he? Uh, nothing. Nice to meet you. Except he's got black hair. Welcome to the Kukai Foundation. What is that? 699? I heard about your situation from Captain Matthews in Chaos. He was upside down. 669? Right? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you for all your help. Enjoy your stay. You know, he had a mark on his What's hand. What's wrong with me? Acting so rudely towards someone I just met. Was that rude? And you must be Momo. I've received word from Yuri Mizrahi of the contact subcommittee. We'll make sure you get to Milsha safely. From Mommy? Right. She told me to take good care of you. Can I talk to her? Well, she seemed pretty busy. Oh, I see. Why doesn't Mommy ever want to see me? I'll let you know as soon as I hear from her again. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, poor Momo. Just never gets a break. Can't be. What? What? Why did your eyes change color? Why were you looking at Chiyon like that? What are you thinking? Tell me. They're not gonna tell me. I know better than that. That android Cosmos, she's got an incredible amount of potential, you know. There's no way she's just a prototype. I'm also concerned about how she resonated with the emulators. She resonated with the them? Hilbert effect. I heard they lost the archetype, but it looks like there's more to this than it seems. The archetype? And don't forget about her engineer. What was her name? Xion? I think she might be on to us. And our powers. What? No way. She's just an ordinary human. You guys have powers? She might not be as ordinary as you think. I doubt it. She seems normal enough to me. I guess it's possible, though. After all, she's involved in the highest classified part of that project. The same one Helmer's involved in. Who's Helmer? The Zohar Project. What's the Zohar Project? Tell me! Listen, why don't we lay off the Mizrahi talk for a while? Hmm. Concerned about that Momo girl? Don't look at me like that! You think she likes being called the child of a madman? After all, we were both there when Mizrahi finally met his end. We saw what happened. Fourteen years you ago. You know that girl's a realian. Her memory might be imprinted with something. So you're saying the image she holds of Mizrahi is a false one? I don't know. That's why I want you to lay off when you're around her. At least for now, anyway. If you're that concerned about her, why don't you invite her down to the beach? I'm sure it'll help take her mind off of things. Man, I told you, it's not like that. I don't know, you're both 12. Even though you were somewhere 14 years ago and so was she. Yeah, he's into Mary Ann hey. Shelley. What's this? What happened to your cape? Man, it's a stainless steel finished Makalov! With the original box and everything! I won it at a Lion's Heart auction. It was part of their antique weapons collection. This isn't like you. You're up to something. Not at all. I just thought I'd reward you for all the hard work you've done for us recently. Have I gone too far? <laughs> Don't go shooting that thing all over the place. Remember, you're older than I am. Try what? to act like it once in a while. All right. How old is Junior? <laughs> Sweet. But you're supposed to be his adopted father. 
How is he older than you? Now, unfortunately, I don't know enough about guns to tell you what a Makarov is. So I, I don't... I have no clue. It's a pistol, obviously. It's open. But I don't know what the hell a Makarov is or why it's supposed to be special, other than the fact that it looks antique Chief, for the we time we better period. get going soon. Yeah. What's wrong? Maybe it's just me, but you've been acting gloomy ever since we boarded this ship. Hmm? No. Really, it's nothing. What? You really think I'm acting like that? Yep. No doubt about it. Hmm. See? Just like that. <laughs> oh, I just have a lot on my mind. I'm sure that's all it is. Are you sure? If something's bothering you, I'd be more than happy to listen. Oh, he's hey, trying Shion! to be the nice guy. Shion doesn't Let's care. Let's go out and play! Hmm? I'll wait for you over at the shuttle launch, so hurry, okay? See you there! Hmm. And nobody knows what's going on, but Shion has an excuse to ignore Alan once again. So she is going to. And she is never going to find out that Alan likes her. Well then, I'll be heading to the launch pad, so Chief, make sure to come too. So, we need to head to the launch pad. But, if I remember correctly, I probably don't at this point, I am seriously doubting myself, there is not. Oh, I thought there was going to be a safe one in here. Uh, can we talk to the robot? Will the robot sell us something now? No, he will not, unfortunately. But, with that done, we have docked at the Kukai Foundation. We are ready to move off the ship. We have fully explored the ship. It took quite a while, though, I must say. Even with the trains, if there were no trains, I can't imagine how long that would take. We are going to head back to the game room, though, because I am sure that there is a safe point here because they need one for the casino. If only people could reload saves at the casino. That would be awesome. But that is actually going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by our intense battling squad this session of Xion. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.